Hi, we have an update on the MIDI CDJ1000 project. Um, so I have eventually had the boards made up. <coughs> this was the first one that I put together. Uh, I've got connectors that go on everything now. And uh, yeah, I'm happy to say that Everything works as it should. Everything is nice and responsive. No more flashing on the LEDs like we had on the one that I made myself. And it also fits easily into a Mark 1, a Mark 2 or a Mark 3. This is a Mark 1. Uh, I have done a Mark 3 and uh, eventually I'll get around to doing the Mark II and then I can show you all three together. I've just got some samples on here. Um, we, I've just set up some different colours. So we've got red and green. And, uh, we move the pitch. I have the uh, tempo reset LED coming on to indicate when it's in the centre. So what I found is on these older pitch that we're using to make these they're off so you have to adjust them with the center adjust on the CDJ but um, I don't have that um, so although the full pitch range works okay the center doesn't work properly um, so it's something that I've got to sort out but I have found a cheaper alternative than buying the one recommended by Pioneer it just means that this knob won't fit in there properly. So pretty much all the same functions that we had before we can go backwards and forwards and load a track and play and jog works great. We can set loops, we can shuffle loops, we can set hot cues. And just like before, they all work together. And then you can use the shift button to delete them. Um, <clears throat> one of the things that you can't see that I've done on this is I've got it with the settings file that's stored on the SD card of the Teensy. And that can allow us to change the settings and it can also allow us to change the MIDI channel. So it's easy to change channels 1, 2, 3, 4, whatever you want without having to reprogram it. That's the first thing that I've done. Um, the second thing that I've done is I've been working on a record option so that we can record anything that we do on this CDJ. Now it's still early days and I've just got it recording a thousand steps which a thousand steps of button presses is a lot but when you're doing something like pitch or the scratch it soon runs out so but this is that's all software I can change the software as I want to so we've got the jog mode button and it shows two statuses so at the moment there's nothing stored in there and when we press select it will go red and then it will wait for us to do something for a thousand steps and then it will stop and then when the CDJ mode goes blue that means that there's something in the memory. So we've now recorded something. So eventually the plan is to be able to store those <coughs> in memory and assign them 
to the hotkeys so that we could choose whatever we want and replay it back. And that could be anything, like a macro or a scratch. And then while that scratch is going, you could change the sounds and the scratch would just carry on and the sound would change. So that's where I am. Um, once I've got the other one working and I've done a bit more on the software, then I will do another update. But thank you for watching. And uh, yeah, this is going really, really well. I'm really pleased with it.